We are going to find the noise figure formula for a two-port uh, noisy network and we will see how we can use this formula in order to optimize uh, our circuit to have a low noise or let's say the minimum noise. So uh, we are going to start with a, uh, with, a, with this uh, actually noisy port. So uh, you assume that you have a, a noisy two-port network and it can be LNA or amplifier. So uh, one of the methods uh, in order to make the calculation easier is we basically may, uh, divide this um, model to two parts. So as you see, we have a noisy two port and now we are making two parts. We say uh, if this noisy two port has a noise, imagine that we are pulling out this noise from it and putting it at the input of this por uh, uh, noisy port. And after this, basically, our port is going to be free of noise, yeah? Let's say we get rid of the noise and put it outside. So uh, now we have two parts. The first part is uh, basically we call it input equivalent noise sources. And the second part is noiseless, noiseless two port. Why? Because we have pulled out the old noise uh, sources uh, from this two port network. So now the whole system is basically equal to a, a noisy two port. And now what we do is just we connect it to our source, the exact uh, the same thing. So in uh, if you remember in the previous section, uh, we said that this is our two port network. So this is two port network and we have ZL or we have ZS. So uh, this is basically our ZS and we can uh, show it with voltage. This is exactly the same thing. So at this point we are basically converting to uh, the different to the uh, Norton circuit. So this is Tevenant. We make it Norton. So you can write this exactly uh, actually um, Convert this to this circuit and here you can call it again. This is ZS. It doesn't matter but this uh, if you have a current this IS is going to be basically V over R. Yeah, VS. Let's say this uh, ZS is equal to RS then the, the IS is going to be VS over RS. And you can also show this with uh, YS, and uh, the YS is basically uh, the admittance. It depends how you show it, it's uh, simple. It's, uh, this is going to be equal to one over ZS. And this ZS can be uh, real, or it can, uh, it can be a complex, uh, basically, impedance. It depends, and we are going to actually see uh, what is the best value for this uh, ZS? So uh, let's continue uh, with the noise factor uh, expression. We said that the f, f is uh, going to be f is equal to total output noise power over output noise power due to input. When we see input, we mean source. So it means uh, uh, the power due to source noise power, it means the, the power which is related to or which is coming from this basically uh, Ys, the, uh, the impedance of the source. So uh, we can show this uh, expression like this and I'm going to explain uh, why we, we can write like this. So let me show with another color. Uh, let's start from here. We say I total the total noise at the input where it's here. So we say I uh, the total noise at the uh, basically at the input, and this is basically the power PSD of the noise. So I'm I mean at this point. So the total the P, the power of noise at the input over the power of noise at the input, which is only coming from the source, because we say this time I n and V n. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with past status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.